Hi, I'm George Pearson, and in this Photoshop Elements Effects video, we'll be taking this portrait over here and turning it into this pop art portrait on the right hand side. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and, of course, click on share and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and take a look at my complete training course, and you'll find a link right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. There are two basic sections to doing that pop art style image. First, we have to take a look at our original and make sure this is as good as we can get. It's kind of washed out right now, so let's use a standard trick in here. Take the background layer, pull it up here to the new layer button, and then let's change the blend mode here to multiply. And that brings back in a lot of color like that. We just replaced a lot of our color by doing that blend mode. Now we need to do a posterization effect on this. There are different ways of doing that. You can use the different filters up here, the filter gallery. And in here, there's a cutout filter right there. It does a pretty good job. Poster edges does a pretty good job, but they're not perfect. They're not exactly what I want. I did find a way though to do this fairly easily, and that's by saving this as a GIF file. So I'll go up here to File, Save for Web. There we are. And in here, if you save it as a GIF file, there it is, and then set your colors at a low color number, you get this posterization effect. Let me just zoom in a bit so you can see this a bit better. There you go, it kind of posterizes the whole thing. Now different numbers in here will give you different effects. There is 16 shades or colors. There's 32 colors. And let's just put this down to 24 colors. I kind of like the 24 personally. So that gives us our posterization effect on the image. Just choose save. Everything else can be the you know, left as is in here. So we'll do save. I'm going to save this one as pop art two. I already have a pop art one up here. So let's just say this as pop art two. There we go. That's now done. Okay, let's go ahead and close this down. We are done with that. And let's open up that pop art file. And it's hiding in here someplace. There it is, pop art 2 right there. Choose open. There's our posterized image. Now let's crop into the picture here. I'll just grab the crop tool right over here. And let's set this at photo ratio. Normally it comes in as a horizontal. You can switch the horizontal and vertical right here, the width and height. Click on that button there. It just reverses those and then position this. You have a nice portrait. We'll need to fix that little bit right there. That's pretty easy to do. We can actually bring this in a bit. There we are. And that just cuts out that little earpiece there on the sunglasses. And that's pretty good. Okay, choose OK, green check mark. And there we go, there's our posterized effect. I'll just dock this up here and let's zoom this in to fit on screen. Okay, so that's the first part of this. Now, because we say this is a GIF file, it's gonna be an indexed file. See over here it says index. We need to change the mode on this back to RGB. So go up to image, come down to mode and just choose RGB color. There it is, things kind of soften up a little bit when you do that and it should change to saying background. Okay, now, let's duplicate this layer. Just drag it up like that. Here's our background, here's our background copy, and we'll be using this layer for the halftone effect. That's up here under filter. Come down to pixelate right there, and there's your color halftone. Not a lot of options in here. Leave all these screen angles as is, that's all fine. You can change the radius in here. This will change the size of the dots. And I found for this image that a size here of eight works out pretty well. Choose OK. And there is that dot pattern. Now it looks a little strange and we're losing a lot of the effect of the portrait. So we need to blend this dot layer, this screen layer into our original background layer. Let's go up here to the blend modes and come down to soft light. 
And that blends that back in. So we now have our dots showing in there. And there's our halftone image. It's looking pretty good at this point. But the eyes are kind of hard to see. The teeth are looking pretty bad with all those dots on the teeth. Let's fix those things. And to do that, grab the background layer, make a duplicate of the background layer again. There we go. Move that above this layer. I'm going to just change the name here on this one layer. Let's change this one to halftone. So we know what that one is. That's our halftone layer right there. Okay, go up towards this background too. We're going to be using this for the eyes and also for the mouth. Now, we need to make a layer mask for that. Let's click on the layer mask button. There it is. And I want to show just the eyes and the mouth. And the easy way to do that is to set your color at black, your foreground color at black. Let's zoom in. There we go. And then I'll grab the polygonal lasso tool. Now in here I'm going to come around the eye and I want to be clear around the eye and also around all the parts that should be white in here. Just like that. And make a nice little selection. There we go. Now take your paintbrush and with black paint just paint black on that. We're on the layer mask side over here and what happens is that is simply hiding it. Don't worry about that. This will all work out in just a moment. Let's just deselect. Same thing for the next eye. I know it looks very very strange but trust me this is going to work out beautifully. Let's just work around the eye over here. Nice little selection around the eye. There we are, and along the bottom side, and back to the starting point. Once again, grab the black paintbrush, and let's just do that, and deselect. Same idea for the teeth down here. Be a little more careful around the teeth. We really didn't want just the white part of the teeth. A little hard to tell at this point with the posterization. So I'll just come around the teeth, make sure you don't go up into the lip up there too much. And just work around the teeth in here. There we go. That's the top part. And we'll come back around the bottom of the teeth. And when you're using this polygonal lasso tool, take your time with it. If you click too fast, you're going to collapse your selection not to start over again. So do this one kind of slow and everything will work out just fine. And work our way around the base of the teeth here on the bottom. And around the final tooth back there, back to the starting point. There's our selection. Grab that paintbrush again and paint black on the layer mask just like that. Okay. Now obviously we're hiding the eyes and the teeth and we're showing everything else. We want to reverse that. So all you have to do is go up here to Filter, come down to Adjustments and Invert, and there we go. We're now seeing the eyes and the teeth in behind or in front of everything else. So that's exactly what you want. We can now adjust the values in here. Go over here to the left-hand side, and we're going to be adding an adjustment layer over here. So Layer, come down to New Adjustment Layer, Levels. Where it says use previous layer to create clipping mask, make sure that, that is checked. Choose OK. And in here, we're going to increase our contrast by bringing the dark side in a little bit and the light side in a bit, lightens things up, and adjusting our midtones. Now, the settings that I used on this, I put the black at 43, and then our midtone in here, the midtone values at 2.32. Really lightens things up, and then the white over here on the right hand side at 196. So there's my settings 43, 2.32, and 196, and choose OK. Don't worry about the eyes, we'll be fixing that in just a minute. This is mostly to lighten the white parts up here, and that looks real nice. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of work on the pupils and change the color in here of the pupils. So let's make a new layer. There we are. And we'll zoom in on the eyes. I'm just going to move up a little bit on the eyes. And then back to the 
polygonal lasso tool and this time just make a little selection right around the pupils there we go so ignoring the white part of the eye and just doing the inner part and once again paint that black there it is now this time we're on just the layer by itself it's not a layer mask it's just a layer by itself let's just deselect go to the other eye or other side over here and let's make a nice selection around this pupil over here and again just take your time with this particular tool just click little dots and allow Photoshop elements to fill in the lines in between back to your starting point and then paint that in black and then deselect all right now let's uh, change the colors in here we'll do that with a layer adjustment again hue saturation again make sure that, that checkbox is checked and choose OK where it says colorize click on colorize and in here you can adjust the lightness of the eyes right there the saturation of the eyes and the color of the eyes so let's set this at hue that's our H setting right here let's set this at 201 I'll just type it in over here 201 for the saturation I'm going to set this one at 74 and then for the lightness I'll be setting the lightness at 59. So it's kind of a nice light blue in there. Now obviously we need to blend this into the background colors. So go up here to the blend modes and change the blend mode down to soft light and that blends that blue in with the colors in behind. If you want to change the color on that just double click on the adjustment layer up here and you can then move your slider control back and forth right here and do any fine tuning adjustment you want to very easily right from the hue saturation slider that looks pretty good in there I think that looks all right nice blue last thing we need to have in here are the pupils since we kind of blocked the pupils out so let's make one more new layer up here we're still on the black let's go up here to the brush tool I have mine at a hard brush right now, 20 pixels. Let's see what size that is. It's going to be a little bit small. Let's make it just a touch larger. That's probably pretty good right there. 25. And I'm going to do the right side eye here first, her left eye actually. And just tap it a couple of times like that and move over here and tap that one there we go now it looks really strange still so we need to blend this in again in with the rest of the image so it looks proper again that's our blend modes right here and once again we'll use the soft light blend mode it just gives us the darkening in there but we still see detail through that so it blends in with the picture pretty well and the teeth look fine okay let's go ahead now and zoom back to fit on screen there it is now if anything looks a little bit odd in here you can adjust that simply by adjusting the opacity of your layer I think the eyes are a bit too rich right now so here's our eye layer let's bring the opacity down a little bit on that and that just knocks the eyes back a bit let's go about halfway down it's pretty good so there we go looks nice last thing come down to the background layer let's make a new layer in here new adjustment layer layer new adjustment layer and levels again again check that checkbox choose OK and this just allows you to do a fine tuning on that background layer and that can help you to really help get the colors to pop I'm just gonna pull this in just a little ways here see there's washed out just a little bit more color in there we can lighten the lights up a little bit if you want to adjust the overall values in here the image so it just allows you to do a little bit of tweaking on this one and make it just a little bit more a little more vibrant looks a bit more like a an illustration as opposed to just a retouched photograph okay it looks pretty good there we go so there it is that's doing that pop art effect I'm going to change the color I think on the eyes just a little bit easy to do let's close this down 
back up to the color layer right here and let's take a look at the color in there that's a bit better I'm going over to the left just a little bit I want a little less purple a little more blush adding a bit more green in there on the eye color I think that's more natural looking just little fine-tuning tweaks in here on the adjustment layers and there we go there is our pop art portrait don't forget to hit that like button and the share and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video also take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop elements and again there's a link for that right down there in the description